Hey everybody, let me just pin me. Sorry about the noise around here, but I'm in I'm on holidays. So guys, it's Emma Romano here and I am doing this for let me close this door. Wait, hang on a second. We um sorry guys, we bought this we've got this little cabin in this caravan park. We bought another one and all that noise is my husband fixing the other one. Sorry, we're very busy. Anyway, guys, what I wanted to do, I really wanted to do this for, I got very inspired last Monday and I was sitting there and I'd had like a kind of a lull over Easter and I was just very present, not a lull. What I mean is I was just very present with my family for four days and very present with myself. I wasn't doing anything with the business. I'd really rested. And when I rested, what it does, when you rest, rest is not avoidance, by the way. When you avoid, it's not true. But when you choose to rest, your whole, it's almost like the universe catches up to your dreams. And it gives the universe a chance to actually manifest your desires and your wants. So I was like, I woke up Monday morning and um, I've had an incredible year so far. Like I had two number, I have got two number, I got two number one best-selling Amazon books. One of the books was in the goodie bag for <coughs> the Oscars. And I just, so much has happened. I've elevated my business from in one year, from 500,000 a year to a million. So I'm a hundred thousand dollars under. I wanted to make a million dollars this year. It's only April and I'm $100,000 under that mark. And it's only April. So this is a chick who, I failed veggie maths. Like I, I was not the brightest spark at school. I didn't know how to do business. In fact, I always said to myself, I'll never have my own business because my family had their own business and we had everything and we lost it. And we went from having Morgan Plus 8s and, and luxury holidays to all of a sudden the sheriff at our front door taking the TV, you know, and taking all the cars. And so I was like, I'm never, ever, ever going to have my own business. I'm just going to work for other people. I'm going to have a job, just work at the job, come home, not think about it and just do that. And then, you know, in 2014, all of a sudden, I get fucking MS. And that changed everything for me because I had to make a choice to either stay the same, which meant get sicker, or fucking live. And I chose to live. So when I healed myself of MS, I started helping other people. And then I realized I don't want to help people with MS. I want to help people before they even get to fucking MS. I want to help people within their trauma. I want to help people with their shame. I want to help people with their, that they think they're just not fucking good enough. And then they pass that on. They pass those belief systems on to their family, their friends, their children. It's fucked. So I'm like, what if I could change one person? What if I could change one mother, one father? What if I could just change one person's thought systems with modalities and then therefore they pass that on in their lineage? What if I could be that person? And that's when I went on that mission. And then I started learning all these modalities. It was Reiki, it was energy work, it was NLP, hypnosis, counseling. I learned all these modalities. And they're great modalities, but I just felt a lot of them weren't working all of the time. So I wanted something that would work all of the time. I wanted a go-to. I want a go-to fucking system that works all the time. And that's when I started tweaking, creating, changing, and alchemizing other parts of all these different modalities into something that's absolutely fucking gold. So what I did was I took the competition out of the processes. And what I mean by this is this. Some people go, I only lose, use hypnosis. I don't believe in that. Or... I don't believe in that because I don't believe I, I only do this. It's kind of like when you go to a surgeon, they'll tell you don't ever go to a chiropractor. Why aren't they working together? 
So I decided there is no competition. There's nothing else like that. I'm going to bring it all together because I truly believe it takes more than one process to heal somebody. It takes hundreds of different things because we're energetic beings who have been through in and out of this earth on just this earth probably thousands of times. God knows where else we've fucking been and we've got soul memory. So what I did was I got really brave. I put my big girl pants on and I decided to tell everyone who told me that I couldn't do it and that it wasn't right and it would never work. Emma, who the fuck are you? This won't work. This is wrong. This is big wig like healers and stuff telling me, no, what you're doing is not right. And I went, fuck yeah. I'm going with my gut. I'm not going with my head because my head got me in trouble in the first place. If I go with my head, I'm going to listen to you fuckers. If I go with my heart, I'm listening to God. So I decided to listen to God. You can call it universe, you can call it source. I'm an old Catholic girl. I call it God, right? So it's just, just what sits with me. So I want to show you how from 2016 making, I started my business in 2016. In the first two years, I made $19,000, right? Um, and now I'm in up to a million dollars, hundred thousand dollars short. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I cannot fucking believe it. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I am so excited. So I want to show you my recipe. It's very different to other people's <laughs> recipe and you can take shit out and things will resonate and things you'll love and things you'll go, what the fuck? This is just my recipe. So Guys, I'm going to be sharing this. If you do not want to be on video um, or anything, just take yourselves off video. But I'm going to offer this to the world. And you're going to be the experts who are going to be doing this with me. So anybody else in the world who are watching this, please meet a handful of my beautiful practitioners here. Everybody wave. Yay! Look at the names because they can fucking help you. So I'm going to share my screen. I just want you to be all extremely impressed with this, please. Can I just have a little round of applause? Look at that. Look what I did. Oh, look at that. So just get a pen and paper. So that's one thing I always do is that I always look for the solution. And I will ne you will never find the solution in the problem. Never, ever. Always look for your solution. And there's one thing I do. I will ask God. I will ask the angels. I'll ask the dragons and go, please, Help me to see this in a different way. Please help me to see this in a different way. And then bang, I see it in a different way. Or I can sit there and say, please let me see this with, a, with eyes of compassion. Because when I come through eyes of compassion, I've just bypassed all my trauma, all my shame, all my hurt, all my servitude slave codes, I've just bypassed it. How can I how can I see this with a with a, uh, with through eyes of compassion? Next, become the energetic match to what you want. So in other words, stop bitching and blaming everything else. Stop making fucking excuses, and you have to become what you want. So you can't sit there and go, "I want to be." a sexy ass fucking person and you're sitting there in sweats with fucking dribble down your front. That's not sexy. Get changed. <laughs> Wash the top. Okay. Put something sexy on. You have to be what you want. You have to be that. So if you want to make big money, you have to start going, I fucking, I am fully compensated for the magic that I bring. You all have the modalities to change people's lives. I know Timeline Reset has pulled the noose off many necks. Many necks. That's a life saved. What's that worth? So if I'm in, if I want to be an energetic match to luxury, if I want to be an energetic match to, because the more money I have, the more I can help. If I don't have money right now, 
I can't sit here on a Sunday morning with you guys. I'd be working or I'd be exhausted from working for a nine to five job. So the more money I make, the more I can help more people. I've noticed the more that I make, the more people I hire. So I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving opportunities to other people, right? So like referrals. I don't ask for a referral price. Most people, if they refer a client on, they'll go, yeah, I'll take $200 off that. I don't do that. I don't need to do it because I'm boosting my sovereign practitioners. If you're a certified sovereign practitioner, I do everything in my fucking power to be there for you. And don't ask me about that. You ask them about that. <laughs> right? But I'm there. See the fear. Feel the fear. And just fucking do it anyway. So I use fear to fuel me. I don't let it stop me. I used to let it stop me. Oh, I'm so scared. I can't do it. And I didn't do it. Now, like, I'm so scared. Good. That means you might want it. So don't get confused with fear and excitement as well because it's actually the same chemical compound in your body isn't that interesting so fear and and like literally anxiety and excitement give the same chemical compound and same feelings in your body so if you think about a time that you were anxious it might you might start in your belly say right and just go up to your chest and then go up and go oh my god the excitement will do the same thing. You'll feel it in your belly. It'll come up to your chest and you'll be like, oh my God. But um, unfortunately, it could have, your excitement may have been named um, anxiousness or anxiety or fear from a parent or a teacher. Happened to my son, Ben. He was five or six. And you know, in primary school, they all go and do like... Um, they all, the whole class gets up and sings a song in um, the assembly. And Ben was standing there and he's, he's running on the spot. And the teacher went up and said, are you nervous? And he goes, oh, oh, I don't know. He was actually excited to get up there and sing his song and do a dance. And she called it nervousness. She goes, you don't have to do it, darling, because you must have stage fright. And he came home to me and said, I didn't do it. I got stage fright. I was like, what? So anybody with authority... They will take it as absolute. So feel the fear. Just fucking do it anyway. What's, what's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> that someone's going to say no? Oh, well. You can't be a master at something unless, like, you think of all the tennis players, all the football players, all the master's elite sports stars. Have they been great tennis stars their whole lives? Nope. Have they lost matches? Yep. We all drop the ball. We have to learn how to drop the ball to be able to hold the ball properly. Heal your old wounds of trauma and shame. You've got to heal your old wounds of trauma and shame. It's so important and you'll see them, you'll feel them, you'll hear them. Because shame is, hang on a second. I just have to stop sharing to let people in because I can't do it when that's on. Guys, when you learn in relationship sovereignty, there's three big things of why every relationship is fucked and that's relationship with self, with money, with other people, with spirit, with God, with universal laws, with your past, with yourself, with everything and shame. Shame of not being good enough for that other person to, sh to change for you. And it comes from trauma. And the third one is agreements. So agreements are everything. If you are struggling in life, it's because you have an agreement to it. You've agreed to it. You've agreed to struggle. You've agreed to learn to not have the time. You've agreed to it. Oh, I've agreed to procrastinate. You've agreed to it. It's an agreement. Change your agreements. Change your agreements. And if you want to do deep agreement, shame and trauma work, um, I do really highly recommend, I highly recommend, where is she? Anissa, Deb Hicks, Luke and Kim Herman. 
no one else on here. That's it. That's who I highly recommend for that. They are my certified master practitioners and they have done relationship sovereignty. That's what relationship sovereignty is all around. It's huge. Agreements are everything. Let me just share. Um, how do I make it bigger yet? Yeah, let me go. Make new agreements. You need to spend some time. I support and love. This is my quote for me. I do support and love my clients and practitioners, but not by being a savior, rescuer, slave, and overgiver. That used to be me. That was me two years ago. That was that was huge for me. I was always a people pleaser. That's when you get exhausted in this business. That's when you get exhausted with anything, anything, everywhere. You cannot. It, that's no point to it. And what you'll do is you'll just attract leeches. You'll attract people who want shit for nothing and you'll give it to them. And then they'll freaking, the minute you ask for money, this is what happened. <laughs> I'm going to, can I tell you guys a story? Can I tell you a story which just happened to me? It's happened to me yesterday. It's happened to me twice when there's one person, she's in timeline reset and I had to block her out of the group, right? So she did family freedom protocol. She's done timeline reset. Great woman. Fantastic. And I started seeing her and her son and it was free. It was a lot of free time I was giving her. This is two, two years ago. This is when Shani was pregnant with Zalia, so three years ago. And um, I, I hadn't heard from her for a long time. And then she, she texted me in October um, last year and she abused me. And she abused me for, I don't quite, oh, she asked me first off in April if she, she could crew for Masters Family Freedom Protocol. I went, no, because you haven't done it. I said, but I'm in Perth. Why don't you come and do it? And so one Luke and Kim were in. And I went, I've gone, I, you, you can't crew it unless you've done it. She's gone, oh, but I can't afford it. I went, that's all right, babe. We'll just do a really killer payment plan. That's so cool. You know, if you can afford 200 bucks a month, we'll just do that. No, 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 I don't want to do it. I went, okay, oh, well, another time. When you're ready, jump in. That's fine. It's always going to be here for you. And then when I was in Perth, I was with my son, Jack, and we do this amazing dragon breath, breath work event. And it goes for about two hours. It's $111 and it's huge. It's like a concert. I swear, it's an experience. It's not breath work. It's a fucking experience. And um, she asked if she could come out. Sure, just pop the $111 in. And she didn't do it. She didn't turn up. Anyway, she must have been stewing on this from April to October. In October, she told me how I'm out of alignment. I had the audacity to ask her for money. Um, and she completely slammed me. Anyway, I sent her lots of love and light. And then she did it again to me yesterday. So I'm like, okay, I did not. I didn't reply because I actually now know that what happens is this. Hey, Marilyn, what happens is this. She will cause drama. People will placate her and that feels good. So when what she's actually addicted to, the unconscious mind has gone, let's create. I'll be placated and then that validates me and I will feel good. So now I know this, I'm like, I can't answer her. I can't even reply because I'm playing into the, now she feels good. She feels validated. So I had to really look deep within me and go, this is not taking out my shame, taking out my trauma, taking out my savior, rescuer, slave, and overgiver codes. What do I have to do? And who do I have to do it for? It's not for me. It's for you guys. I cannot let her pull down your frequency or your agreements. She's got to come out. So I don't give anybody permission just to send me a fucking text, a private message, <laughs> an essay telling me I'm, an, I'm out of alignment with myself. Right? No one has permission to do that. There's, there's, there's no boundary. There's no agreement there. So I'm sorry. You're out. So that's my agreement. When you come out of the agreement of savior, rescuer, slave, and overgiver, everything fucking changes. 
everything changes because what's attached to savior, rescuer, slave, and overgiver? Poverty. Illness. It's in the bandwidth. If you think of frequencies, here's a low frequency, savior, rescuer, slave, or overgiver. In that bandwidth of frequencies, ill health, poverty, shit relationships, injuries, accidents. So I had to yesterday to block her and I had to go, right, what's my new agreement and how do I step into that? But the gold was this. How does my nervous system feel? Because I can tell you in October, I wanted to fucking kill her. <laughs> because my trauma response, I have two trauma responses. I will fight and then I'll fawn. So what's fawning? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Let me do everything for you. Oh my God. No. So this time I didn't want to fight her. I didn't want to people please her. My whole nervous system had calibrated. And I was like, block. And I said a prayer for her. Please, dragons, angels, go in, switch up her nervous system, give her lots of love and light and let her calibrate her own self-worth, please. Because that's all she needs. She just needs to heal. That's all she needs. So it's interesting, isn't it? So what agreements do you have to break up with? That was a huge one for me. Let me share my screen. Never listen to the lies that you can't do anything. If someone says you can't, or if you tell yourself you can't, you're a bloody liar. Stop lying to yourself. Please stop lying to yourself. All I ever wanted to do was make $60,000 a year doing this job. Can you believe that? <laughs> I'm like, if I make 60 grand a year, I'll be really happy. How, well, uh, why can't I make a million? Why can't I make 4 million? Why can't I have my $3 million home that I want in the, in the, in the hills? Why not? Why can't I? Because there's only two ways to be. You're an, either an open channel to universe, universal riches and wealth, or you're a closed one. So if you're closed, open. It's only two ways. There's no in-between. There is no gray area. It's black or it's white. It's simple as that. You're either an open channel to flow or you're a closed channel and you'll struggle. If you're struggling, you got a closed channel. If things are going really well, you got an open flow. So what do you have to do to step into that agreement that I am an open channel to universal riches and love and abundance and prosperity. Health, wealth, great relationships, fun, creativity, travel experiences. What do you have to do to open that channel? So if you imagine you've got this big hose, right? Like this big, big hose. And you're looking down that hose and you're down here and pretend your universe, pretend your God up here going, yep, have a look at all the corners he's got to go through or she's got to go through to get to you. What belief systems are in there that you have to grab out and push out? What emotions have you got in there that you have to pull out? What habits? Because you will never manifest what you think and you'll never manifest what you feel. You'll only manifest your habits and behaviors. That's the clincher. So know what you think. You can sit there until the cows come home and go, Kumbaya, my Lord, please give me a million dollars. But if you're sitting there going, oh, I can't charge more than $200 for a session or I can't do a live on Facebook or I can't tell people what I do or I can't learn this and I can't do that, you're full of shit. You're absolutely full of shit. So you have to start doing shit, right? Easy. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Move forward boldly. Start by swapping the word but for and. This is a great one. This one is the one that's probably catapulted me in the last six months. 
So I used to say, oh, I really want this beautiful little cabin, you know, in, in, the, in the, like on a river and I want mountains around me, but I, um, I also want this. Well, what if I said, I want this gorgeous little cabin by the river, mountains around me, and I want this. Right? There's no but in universal law. There's only and. I want a successful business. And I want free time. And I want great relationships. And I want a hot ass sex life. And I want this. But most people do this. I want a really great successful life. But I'm worried I won't have time with the kids. I want a great successful business. And I want great quality time with my children. And I want a fuck ton of money so we can go to Disneyland. And I want to put them in private schools or wherever. And I want to do this. And swap the word but for and. Also, if you have children, you should never use the word but. So even if they say, hey, can I have McDonald's? That's a great idea. And we can do that another day. Instead of, that's a great idea, but no. Or, but, yeah, well, you know, let's do, let's do something else. You can say, that's a great idea, and we can do that another day. Feel. Guys, it's so safe to feel. So I want you to say this. This is my little mantra. It's safe to feel. Feelings flow through me. So a feeling will actually only be chemically in your body, not in your brain, in your body for 90 seconds. That's it. 90 seconds. So if you're feeling fear, if you're feeling sadness, if you're feeling grief, if you're feeling anything, it will only last in your body for 90 minutes. Anything longer is your choice. It means you're starting to overthink shit and you've gone into your problem space. So you want to feel, you want to laugh, laugh really hard. You want to cry, you want to feel, forgive. You want to dance, sing, heal, connect, love deeply. If you're not loving deeply, you are in trauma response. If you are in trauma response, I had this really great process called Timeline Reset. You all know it. Feel safe in your success. Feel safe in success. So most people are scared of success because they think it's hard work or it's this, or it's that, or it's whatever it might be. Oh, if I'm successful, people will laugh at me, or people won't think, oh, people will get fuck off, feel safe in the success. It could be a little mantra. I feel safe in success. And the clincher to this is this. What agreements do you have with success? What do you have to heal yourself around success? What belief systems do you have to fuck off around in success? What agreements, what emotions do you have to heal around success? Because to me, success was great, but success stopped. Because my family was so successful and then they went bankrupt. So for me, it was like, if I'm successful, it'll all go, won't it? So I had to clear that trauma. And I just learned the life lesson by it. Kiss the fish and let it go. If you've got clients coming in and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing or you've got to chase them up or anything like that, let them go. Find your perfect avatar. And what I mean is this, find the perfect client. So what does she look like? What does he look like? How much money do they make? Um, what's do they pay on time? So my beautiful practitioners and my beautiful clients pay me up front or they get finance. Right? They'll jump in. They're like, fuck yeah, I'm in. Balls and all. They play full out. Even when it's really uncomfortable, they reach out to me. That's, them. That's my perfect practitioner, perfect client. They reach out to me. They tell me the good shit. They tell me the bad shit. But they tell me they wins. We have a really close relationship. So kiss the fish and let it go. Create large amounts of wealth. I know I can ask for, I want you to say this. I know I can ask for large amounts of money because my programs are of the highest quality and get the biggest results.
because guys, you have the processes that I created. They work. I've got over a thousand clients. I've got over 360 practitioners worldwide. It works. So you can charge large amounts of money because these programs are of the highest quality. They're cutting edge. My clients come into me and they've been seeing psychologists for years. They've been on drugs for years. And they'll come into me and go, okay, I've just gone home and my family don't understand how we got, how I'm so good after one or two sessions. I go, I know, right? If only everybody knew these processes. If only everyone fucking knew these, if only every psychologist or psychiatrist even just new timeline reset. How different would the world be? How different would therapy be? <laughs> like, <laughs> this world would be so different. You don't ever have to manage an illness or a mental illness. Heal it. Get rid of it. Don't manage it. That means you're going to keep it. Heal it. Have faith. Faith is the biggest one. So when you're sitting there and you're going... I want to make $10,000 a week or I want I want to make $500 this week. Right, let me do it. I've done the agreements. I'm manifesting like a motherfucking goddess, right? Or a god. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And you don't get the $500. What do 95% of the population do? Ah, oh, see, it doesn't work. You might have been one fucking day away from it. That's faith. That's faith. It's when you go, it didn't work this week, but I fucking know it's going to work. You never give up. You never give up. Just feel the fear and do it anyway, but always have faith. I say to myself all the time, I'm an open channel to universal flow. If I'm not open, I'm blocked. It's simple as that. There is no gray area. Black and white, I'm open or I'm fucking not. I am an active creator in my life. I create my life. How do I create my life? Through my thoughts, my behaviors, and my habits and feelings. What's the two top ones? Habits and behavior. I can't sit there and say, yeah, I'm going to manifest all this wealth and go, oh, I can't really afford that coffee today or I want to keep that coffee or I've got money stashed somewhere for a rainy day just in case. Just in case of what? That you're not going to be wealthy. That's a block. Ready for this last one? Sure? Are you positive? First off, are there any questions? Any questions? No questions? I, yeah. I have one. Yes, my um, Would you work with um, just the mothers or would you work with the children too? And what age limit would you work or not limit because that's not the right word, but what age would be beneficial for little ones? The youngest I've ever worked with is three. And right. the oldest person I worked with was, I can't remember, 87 or 93, something like that. Um, so because it's energy, it doesn't, you know, and they will sit, they could they could possibly sit still long enough to do like the, the, the timeline reset especially. Yeah, so when you do timeline reset with a child, I don't take them through timeline reset. They don't understand what that is. I change it up. If you look in the, right. in, the, in the guides, there is how to do timeline reset on children in the timeline awesome. reset thing. But this is my big thing. If you're ever going to work with families, you need to do family freedom protocol. And I tell you why. A child is in survival mode of their environment. So mm -hmm. if you can change the child like that. Children love, love, love unconscious work. But if the environment doesn't change, they have to go back. So I never mm -hmm. work with children until I have worked with the parents first. Right. Right. Or I work with them as a group. 
because that's the problem. Parents will send their kids off to psychiatrists, psychologists, and they go, oh, nothing's changing. I went, because you're not. Mm. You have to change. Makes sense, yeah. Because they're a product of their, they're trying to survive an environment. And what children will do is if mum or dad aren't getting along or mum, even single parents or same sex, whatever, even if mum hates herself, what they'll do is for their survival mode because they want protection and food. That's basic survival 101. And if mum hates herself, it's just death or life. If mum hates herself, that's death. So I will create something as the child to distract her from herself. So that's ADHD, um, cutting, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, depression, anything to distract mum from her own shit so she feeds me and, and um, shelters me. So when a par parent comes to me and says, my child's got all these problems, I go, right, we need to see you right now. What's going on for you? Mm. And they'll go, what do you mean? I go, how's your self-worth? It's fucked, isn't it? And they go, shit, how did you know? I said, because your kids are acting out to distract you from you. Mm. I know straight away. And I go, don't send me your child. I want to see you first. And then I'll see the parents and then I'll see the kids. And often you don't even have to see the kids. Yeah. Because the parents have like got their shit together. The kids are like, I don't have to create problems now. I can just be a normal fucking kid. Yeah. And have my own problems in the schoolyard, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Great, <laughs> Thank great you. question. Great question. Thanks. I'm going to share a screen. The universe will never override your free will. So if you don't believe in something, you won't get it. So let me explain this. Uh, I can stop sharing. I'm going to pin me. Spotlight for everyone. There you go. When we want and we manifest, but we don't believe or our habits and our behaviors don't match our thought, the universe cannot override our free will. And it will never bring us something that we don't believe that we can have. So what is it that you have to start truly believing in and actioning? Because don't forget, we have a part in the brain called the caudate nucleus. The caudate nucleus is a part in our brain. It's like our filing system. And that is where we, uh, if we have a thought, Emma, you need to make, a, you want to make a million dollars. And my brain will go into the caudate nucleus and go, has she ever made that? Fuck no. Nah. Oh, she's had trauma around it though. Family had like $5 million and lost a whole lot and she lost everything. Oh, so it's like, no, Emma, you won't be making a million dollars because you got trauma there. So I've struggled now for three years to make a million dollars. As soon as I went, oh, hang on, hang on a minute. I need to clear out that pipe. You know that pipe we're talking about? There's universe looking down the pipe and it wants a clear run. Well, why haven't, why haven't I got a clear run? I've got some belief systems there. I've got some trauma there. I might also have some shame around there. Because the shame might be, well, what if I declare I want to make a million dollars, but I don't do it? I mean, I've got 360 practitioners here worldwide that I'm declaring I'm going to make a million dollars. Well, what if I don't do it? Is there shame in that for me? Definitely. I have to heal that shame. What if there's no shame in that? So timeline reset, let's take away shame around doing it and not doing it. So then where do I come from? A place of love and pure God channel. Because I'm already creating problems before I even fucking have it. If I can't handle $10, universe is not gonna give me $100. If I can't handle $100, they're not going to give me a thousand. If I can't handle a thousand, they're not going to give me ten thousand. So you need to be educated in your money because money is an energy. That's all it is. It's just an energy. It's kind of like this crystal. 
do this one because I don't know what that one's called. This is a rose quartz crystal. Now, for me, a rose quartz crystal means this. You always stick it in your bra on your left-hand side near your heart and it brings in self-love, right? That's for me. Now, I can give this to Bob down the road and go, what's this? He goes, oh, that's a pretty rock. I go, do you know, Bob, that this rock here is actually a crystal and can actually bring yourself love? And he's like, fuck, that's a heap of shit. It's a fucking rock. Now, this hasn't changed. This is still a rose quartz. But the energy behind it changes by the intention that I hold around it. See? So it's the same with money. I can hold up money and go, I should, should have brought some money out. I can hold up money and go, I fucking love money. Money means that I can go and get a Gucci handbag. Money means that I can go traveling. Money means that I can see more clients. Money means that I can pay to actually put out two books. So people who can't freaking pay for one of my courses or have the amount of money to, to, to work with me, they can get a book on Kindle for $1.95 and they can get help. That's what money means to me. It means when I go to, go to Egypt for a month in November, I'm going to get coded up with all these ancient, ancient codes, which then does what? Helps you. That's what money does for me. Whereas other people will go, money is the root of all evil. Money is dangerous. Money is scary. I don't know what to do with it. That was me a few years ago. When I changed my belief systems around money, they went, ah, she's getting it. She's clearing the fucking barrel out. Let's pour some fucking money in now. Let's see how she handles that. I handled it really fucking well. Right? So universe will only give you, it will only give you what you believe you deserve will only give you what you'd believe you can have so you must do actionable steps towards what you want so for instance with money I started looking at the barefoot investor and I got like all these different accounts and I put the money in the different accounts all right I would I I started working le learning how for to work for me I've now got Two investment properties, I'm about to buy a third. Three fucking investment properties in two years. That's nuts. I'm about to pay my full mortgage off of my primary home. That's incredible. Because I'm working on it. I'm working for it. I'm I'm I do other I have all these different streams of income. Heaps and heaps of different streams of income. Some work, some drib drab, some don't. Doesn't matter. I'm working on it. I'm always educating myself in it where I used to hide from it. I never used to know even how to do my taxes. I would hide from it. So what's that agreement? You know, what agreements did I have there? No one else struggling with money. Now I can flow. Now I can walk into fucking Gucci and buy a handbag and not feel bad about it. Right? I took the guilt and shame out of money because it's just a frequency. It's like breath. It's almost like saying... I'm just going to hold this breath for a rainy day. Guess what? You're going to be fucking dead before that rainy day because you're going to die. All right? <laughs> On the other hand, you can't let it all go either because if you leave all your breath out and you don't breathe in, you're going to be dead as well. It's a, it's a flow. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Money in, money out. Money in, money out. That's why I know the people who are really successful in this business are the ones who go... Right, Emma, I want to know what you know and I want to do what you do. Done. And I give you my codes. I'm like, done, here. And they ring me up and they go, I've got, I've got a, a workshop coming up. I don't know what to do. Get on the fucking phone to me. Get on a Zoom call for an hour. I'll record it with you and you will, I'll tell you exactly what you've got to do. Exactly. And then just repeat it over and over and over again. And this has just done it. Kim Herman does them all the time, right? That Jillian does, like Corinne does them. It's incredible. You can do it, but you've got to believe. You have to fucking believe. 
Are there any questions before we wrap up? Was it good? Did you enjoy it? Has it made you think? Have you gone, oh my God? Like, Emma might know something and she's funny as fuck as well. Did you think that at all during that? And if you didn't, there is something definitely wrong with you. <laughs> You're not human. <laughs> All right, my loves, I want to just share one other thing with you, and that's this. Um, I'm going to pin me because I want you to, I want, it's a bit of a serious thing. I want you to know that you are already in my frequency. You're already in my bandwidth of frequency because you've agreed to be here. So you are already in the bandwidth and the frequency of great success and wealth. Congratulations. You're hanging out with us. You're hanging out with me. Well done. Now your job is to do this. When you look down that barrel and pretend you're freaking your highest self and you look down that barrel at you, What's the debris that's stuck on the barrel that isn't allowing that full flow? Recognize the barrel. Recognize the lumps of crap attached to it. What are the belief systems? What are the thoughts? Team up and be specific and take each other through timeline reset and say, right, can we be specific around my business? What's the anger? What's the frustration? What's the sadness, the shame, the guilt, whatever? What are the belief systems around it? Do money. Do about seeing clients. If you're not seeing clients, there's only two reasons. Because one, you don't feel confident. Or two, you're listening to your fucking ego. Tell your ego to go on a holiday. Say so thank you very much for things coming along and, you know, keeping me safe and shit, but it's now time for me to thrive. So if you're not confident, there's only one reason. It's because you're not doing the practice. Do the practice. Do it on a teddy. You don't have to even do it on a real person. Literally pretend you're taking a plant through it. Do it, do it on a teddy. But do the practice. Do the work. Sit in that frequency. Have an agreement with that frequency. Make sense? Heal the wounds. Because that's all that's stopping you is trauma, shame and agreements. That's it. And if you want an expert to work with you one-to-one, -one, I highly suggest Luke and Kim Herman. Gillian Hill, Anissa Cuttridge, and Deborah Hicks, who are all on here right now, and of course myself, because they are certified sovereign practitioners. That's what you want to step into. If you want greatness, you have to learn greatness. You have to be the greatness. Is it going to be easy? Fuck no. Some of it is, some of it's not. But when you step into that beautiful container ship, we've all got each other's backs. We all got each other's backs. They have my back. I have their back. We're family. That's what you want. I love you all so much. Thank you. It is a fucking honor and a privilege that you've all spent your Sunday morning here, bettering yourself, listening to me. I love you. I fucking honor you. Don't forget this soul business alignment. Don't forget there's so much coming up. Get excited. Money is not your fucking issue. I promise you. It's just your belief systems around yourself. Fuck them off and live in your greatness. I see it. I want you to fucking see it. I love you.